afternoon, everybody. Olaf here, and welcome back to round two of Sierra Saturday with Let's Play Space Quest V. So, uh, we took care of the evil uh, automated robot behind that was coming behind us. We got Spike. He's uh, He is actually, like, in our possession now. So, we can come over here. We can dump him into the the habitat thingy we get points for that and to make sure that he tr tr that he's his his tummy is better we pop it in that acid hopefully it doesn't kill him poor little fella must have eaten something that didn't agree with him those antacids should reduce the acidity of his metabolism you're a genius sir I would have just given him a kid corn dog So yes, um, Cliff kind of seems to be a bit more bones than Scotty. So we still need to go to PU. I think, I don't think we picked anything up here. Ahem. <clears throat> Crew? Seriously, who put a whoopee cushion in my chair? Uh, you! Drool! Uh... Okay, fine. Apparently there's nothing here. Uh, we need to go to... Nine... Two... Seven... Six... Seven... And it's locked in, sir. Excellent. Cause that I think that's the last one we need before uh for this for, for this particular group of missions. Um light speed. Away we go. Not sure what our what what not sure what's giving the tire squealing sound. Nothing should be. All right, we're approaching the destination. Regular speed. We should be getting the beacon. We are. Awesome. Right. Activate the RRS. Wow, I just realized we started out the day with 330 points. We're up to 13... Uh, 1315. 1315 points. We've gained almost a thousand points just today. It's like we're actually a captain or something. Who would have thought? All right, anything? Captain, I'm intercepting a rather unusual message from Starcon Priority Frequency 2. I'm putting it on screen. Good. Whoa, you are maggot dung heap. Come in dung heap. <coughs> Now get the dung heap. Come in, dung heap. This is dung heap. What in Pallades do you think you're doing on the frequency? We have got, we have a really hot load of goods that needs to be disposed of right away. I thought I told you never to call me here. Meet me at the usual place and we'll discuss it. Dung heap out. So somebody in Starcon is actually working with the polluters. Fantastic, isn't that? Ah, oh, yes, Sprint. Sorry, Captain, but I wasn't able to pin down the source of the transmission. It's okay, you did your best. Uh, 
Hail Starcon? Hailing, sir. Uh, uh, they have better, more important things. Oh, I, I bet we didn't actually make it to uh, KU. Oh, yes, we did. You know, Cap, I could really use a break. How about heading for the space bar for a quick drink? Okay, space bar six nine eight six nine. Because uh, d because you know humor. We're all like six years old and sixty nine eight sixty nine is a funny uh, a, a a funny sequence of numbers. Uh, light speed. Hi, sir. But we didn't pick anything up from KU. So see, we can actually talk to, uh... We finished our mission, Captain. Let's take some R&R &R at the space bar. Yes, that's, that's what we're doing. Thank you, Flo. Th thank you. Drifted through space. Excellent. Regular speed. So, all right. So, we, uh, yes, we're at the space bar. And I suppose we actually have to tell you to, to put it in orbit. Standard orbit? I, Captain. So that's, that's, that's the space bar, huh? Woo! Everybody's rushing. Let's party. Last one down to the station is a rotten orat ovum. Wait, 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 as in... I didn't know orats would lay eggs, though. I thought they were m m mammals. Hey guys, wait for me! Jackasses. Spike deserves a little R&R too. Let's, let's grab Spike. Come on, boy. Yeah, oh, you love me. Little face hugging idiot. Energize. So, yes, we are down, we are going down to the space bar to have some fun. Excuse me, Captain, but I see an old buddy over the, of mine over there by the bar. Uh-oh, here we go again. And if you look up in the corner here, there's a familiar looking alien with a familiar looking Starcon. That alien looks vaguely familiar. All right, let's go hang with the crew. Guys? Hello, I am your cocktail waitress, Analog. What's your poison, humanoids? I'll have a double bourbon on the rocks. I'll have a fuzzy nostril. Give me a green goblin. Wow, these are... are the charges will be deducted from your Starcon account. If you feel the urge to hurl, please feel free to use the restrooms, humans. All righty then. And what now? Everybody's coming to see us. 
You're a skeezy looking fella, aren't ya? Well, hello there, slick. I mean, partner. Well, actually, I'm kind of... Allow me to introduce myself. The name's Nilo Jones, merchant of Venice. Dealer in fine collectibles, trafficker in rare artifacts. What's your monkey, son? I'm, a uh, Roger Wilco. Well, Wilco, this is your lucky day. I could tell the first minute I set eyes on you that you're a discerning individual with an IQ significantly higher than the chair he was sitting in. A man who knows the value of fine merchandise when he sees it. Well, uh... Never fear, Wilco. Nilo can fix you right up. Need some Arterian Firewater? A few gray market copies of the latest things quest game? Or Lucky Tribble? How about some Chernobyl Cufflinks? A collector's item you know, guaranteed to warn glow like only hard radiation can give. Well, I don't think. Uh, I can see you're looking for something special, Roger. Can I call you Roger? Well, I've got just the thing. Dehydrated space monkeys. They're all the rage in the colony worlds. You don't see, you don't have to feed them, and there's no mess. For you, 15 buckazoids. Well, oh, now, I'm not sure. You drive a hard bargain, Raj. I tell you what, you can take a free sample of the space monkeys and my business cards with my compliments. When then you buy something for your lady friend the next time you pass through. Thanks. Realizing he's not gonna make a big score here, the sale beast moves off to the next victim. I'm imagining him he, as kind of the hairy mud type of, I'm a sleazy little fellow. I'm just out to make a buck, Kazoid. So yes, that was Captain Quirk up there with that familiar looking alien. Needless to say, yeah, he's uh, he's kind of a ski he's kind of a scumbag. Well, 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 look who it isn't. Buzz off, laser brain. Join your new command, trash man. I recommended you for the job. That sanitation engineer to you, Crumb. Ooh, an aristocrat. I bet Ambassador Wankmeister would be really impressed. She and I are having a great time working together closely on the Goliath. Quirk, you have the look of a orat and the manners to match. Why, you little, I could have you brought up on charges for that. I demand satisfaction. I challenge you to a game of Battle Cruiser, Wimp. Fine, I'm gonna kick your aft side into the next quadrant quirk. Okay, so basically this is kind of like a, um, kind of like Battleship. Um, with a few interesting differences. Um, So, yeah, Battle Cruiser. Uh, let's play. So, we have three sectors that we can put stuff in. So, I think there's four ships, if I remember. Yeah, four ships. Now, you do have, um, like, probes. You have probes, which can... Boom! Nothing there. Okay. Good to know. 
Now, see, he's just using flat out weapons. Let's go to sector two. We will drop a probe right there on sector two. And see, now we have, now we can see part of his, one of his ships. Meanwhile, he's doing it the old fashioned way and just firing a weapon. So obviously there's two there. There may be one, one over as well. You, I don't see why he wouldn't use a probe though. So obviously that's not all there is to the, the ship. Okay, so it's not just a uh, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, right between the right between the nacelles. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this, you know, finish up this battle and. Uh, we'll be back for just a few moments after I've won the, the, the af after this game within a game. All right, so I uh, wound up not winning by, I, I, I just ran out of time, like just ran out of time, but it doesn't matter. Um, why are you dirty no good? Dude, Cliffy. What's going on here, Cliffy? Captain that slug bait crewman from the Goliath called our ship a garbage scow. I just couldn't sit there and let him take... Get at her like that, yada yada. Eureka is a garbage scow. Oh yeah, I forgot. But he didn't have to go rubbing our noses in it. Quirk has him thrown in jail. I can and did. Now just stow it, Wilco, or you'll end up alongside him in a detention cell. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my ship. I wouldn't want to keep the ambassador waiting. Ba chicka wow wow. And Cliff gets one good sock in. All right. So at least we know now know who the Confederate Confederation officer is that's uh that's, that's causing the problems. And that is all the time we have for today. So we will save. As always, thank you guys very much for watching and stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. If you wanna see Cheerio! So he was high as a guy. I swear I know this woman. Pearl. Pearl. The speed lets him run comic book fast, much like Quicksilver or The Flash. He has a mentor known only as Shaman. 